Hey, this is section 3 of chapter 12. We're going to be analyzing geometric sequences and series. So a geometric series has a common ratio. This is different from our common difference from our arithmetic sequences. So our common ratio is a number that we're multiplying by to get the next number in our series or sequence. So once again, we have an, a formula and a sub 1 again is our first term and r is our common ratio. So a problem will ask us to write a rule for the nth term of a sequence and then find a sub 7. So once again, we need to identify what a sub 1 is. This is 4 in this problem. Next, we need to find the ratio. So we take a sub 2 and divide it by a sub 1. So 20 over 4 equals 5. This is our common ratio or the number that we're multiplying or dividing by between each of these numbers. Now we can plug these into our formula. If we simplify this, we put 7, so this is our a sub n formula, but now we need to have 7 as our n, so a sub 7 equals 62,500. So typically, even if our problem had not asked us to find a rule for the nth term, but simply asked us to find a sub 7, it's still faster to find this first, our general formula, and then find a specific term, the seventh term. Next, we're going to write a rule given two terms. These are the third term, or a sub 3, which is negative 48, and our sixth term, or a sub 6, which is 3072. So we're going to write a system of our equations similar to our arithmetic problem. So we're going to substitute 3 for n in our first equation, which will give us a sub 3 equals a sub 1 times r to the 3 minus 1, which is negative 48, which is this problem. Now we're going to substitute 6 for n in our second equation, so we have a sub 6 equals a sub 1 times r to the 6 minus 1, and we get 3072 equals a sub 1 r to the 5th. Next, we're going to solve this system, and we get a sub 1 equals negative 48 over r squared. This simplifies further to 3072 equals negative 48 over r squared times r to the fifth. Simplify this further. So r equals negative 4. Now that we know r, we can solve for a sub 1. So we plug in negative 4 as our r, and a sub 1 equals negative 3. We're going to find a rule for a sub n by using our newly found r and a sub 1 values. So negative 3 times negative 4 to the n minus 1. This is our a sub n equation. So like we have a sum of an arithmetic series, we have a sum of a geometric series as well. This has a formula of s sub n equals a sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So the first problem will tell us to find the sum of this series here. We can identify the first value by plugging in 1 for i. So a sub 1 equals 4. Now we can plug this into our or excuse me, we need to solve for s of 16 into our sum of a geometric series formula. So we have s sub 16 equals a sub 1, 1 minus r to the 16, over 1 minus r. Now we know that a sub 1 equals 
4. We don't know what r is. We can solve for r by saying r is 3. So 3 to the 16th. And for s sub 16, the sum of the series is 86,093,440.